woke up and uh, did my vlog lotties. I did one of her ab routines this morning and it always hurts my elbows whenever I do that one. But anyways, I uh, wanted to share with you guys, I finished up the LTMD UV Pure and I've been using the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45 that I reviewed for you guys a while ago. Yeah, it feels nice and cool on that, which is helpful because, my goodness, it is so hot here. We got a ton of rain. Um, it's always like so hard to predict what you need to, to wear because while it's super hot outside, it's gonna be freezing indoors because the AC and it's the combination of the humidity and the air conditioning that really makes for quite a chill factor. Uh, you know, as opposed to a more dry chill, a more dry cold. Like, I always felt like, even though it snows a lot in Colorado, because it's so dry there, the cold is not as bone chilling. But uh, yeah, that Black Lottie's routine that I did this did this morning, she's she had a she has a gal on that particular one. I'll list it down below, who I'd never heard of before, Remy. Um, and I've watched some of her videos since watching that workout video. She's really cute, so. But my tomato plant's looking really good out there, as is my eggplant and my parsley. So my babies, my kids. But I'm hoping I get another tomato on my tomato plant out there. I have, there's a little, there's a little flower bud that looks like it could potentially be another, another tomato. It'd be, it'd be kind of funny though if I only got that one tomato out of the whole plant. It'd be like the world's most expensive tomato. Because I think all in all with all of the um, potting soil and the plants themselves and the pots and the cages and everything, I think I plunked down like like 85 bucks on supplies. So it'll be funny if all I get is that one tomato, the world's most expensive tomato, $85. An $85 tomato. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna come on over with the Color Science Mineral Face Shield focus. Glossier Mascara. I've had it for a few months now and I love it. It is really good. You guys are asking me to review more of their skincare and they actually have some promising looking products. Um, I reviewed their BHA product a while ago and that unfortunately has fragrance in it. But they have a fragrance free moisturizer and they also have some fragrance free hyaluronic acid kind of booster type things. Humectants and whatnot. So I'm gonna like to give those a try. They're not too expensive either. Oh, they also have an oil cleanser that's fragrance free. I've been double, double cleansing with the Alvaline at night. This is what I use. I slather this all over my face and my neck and anywhere on my body that I've had a lot of water resistant zinc sunscreen. I slather this on and then I jump in the shower and wash it off with this, the Eucerin Baby uh, Wash and Shampoo. I've been using this lately. Not only do I use this as a face wash, but I shampoo my hair with this as well. Um, I don't shampoo my hair with it every night though. I just shampoo my hair with it like every other night. And in the other alternate nights when I don't shampoo with this, I use that Giovanni shampoo. So I've been alternating that as my shampoo. And it's really been working out pretty well for me. But this uh, is really nice, it's fragrance free.
my cute pink pineapple there. Yeah, this smells wonderful. Um, but this is the only, the last of my backup Tuscany candles that I have, so I may have to get some more today at Kroger. Um, I, uh, I love this creamy coconut, and then I finished the lemon sugar cookie. But I wanted to share with you guys, this is what I'm gonna take with me um, on the go here for a little breakfast. It is the Simple Truth Organic Unsweetened Applesauce. I don't normally buy these little disposable packets. This is kind of a one-time one purchase for me. It was like on sale and I had a coupon for it. I prefer to buy the jar and just dispense it myself. But I'm taking that and then these are the Pegan Thin Bars, the protein bars from Julian Bakery that I shared my eye herb haul this past weekend. And I wanted to update you guys on them. I've really been enjoying them, but uh, <laughs> Even though I love them and I actually really like the taste of them, I kind of want to set your expectations going in because this image sets you up for failure. If you think you're getting that, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Uh, this just tastes like a protein bar. I like it, but if you're if you're really expecting it to taste like chocolate lava, you will be sorely disappointed. It's not sweet whatsoever. Um, it just kind of tastes like protein powder, honestly, and um, it's it's actually pretty good. It's a nice texture. They're really soft. That's what I like about them, and so they're really filling. They're made out of pea protein, I think, uh, or no, such a inchi, whatever that is, and sunflower seed butter and tapioca fiber, and then they're sweetened with monk fruit, so they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty filling. But I would say try and find them somewhere locally where you can maybe just buy one and try it because on iHerb you can only buy the box of like 12 or whatever and that's a lot to commit to if you don't end up liking them. But I want to try some of the other flavors because I do actually really like this but um, I, I don't think it's going to please everyone's palate. But um, yeah, I've really been happy with them. So I'm going to take that and my little applesauce. But I'm gonna chug down my coffee here real quick and refill a bubba to go as well. Yeah, I'm just giving my tomato plant here a little drink of water because even though it, it rains, they don't get much, they don't get any rainfall on the actual soil itself. And my soil moist meter said it was low, but yeah, look how healthy it is. I swear it's gotten much taller. And look how tall my uh, eggplant has gotten. Unfortunately, my chocolate mint died. Um, I need to have a funeral for it. I don't know exactly what happened to it. I think it got like those little aphid things on it, but uh, yeah, it didn't do too well. Well, hey guys, what's up? It is late afternoon and I'm headed out to run errands. I just stopped at the bank and buzzed in to uh, the Ate MA. <laughs> um, but, uh, I have really been enjoying my library book, The Interestings. I, it's cute. It's about this group of friends and kind of how they meet in adolescence at this art camp, this uh, performing arts camp or school of the arts type camp. And uh, then how they kind of grow up and you know, how they, their relationships evolve with adulthood, it's really, I, I'm enjoying it. The characters are are fun, and it's uh, it's kind of like the same style of writing a little bit as uh, Leanne Moriarty. I, I just really enjoy these kind of you know character development type things. But yeah, it reminds me of my my youth in those fine arts camps in the summer. I'd always go to like a ballet camp and uh, the one in the book is somewhere in the northeast um, and uh, it reminds me of this one that I went to in Connecticut. Uh, you form some fun friendships in those and uh, I kind of feel like I relate to one of the main characters. So yeah, it's a good read. It's cute. I wouldn't say it's like up there, but it's definitely been one of the better books that I've read most recently. I'm enjoying Whoa, it. Oh, check out this. World's coolest mom brings that home. It's the size of my childhood bedroom. <laughs> Cooler Z, relaxing and fun. That looks like a blast. Oh man, it's a lot of fun. Massive though. Take a lot of air to blow that up. 
this uh, little trampoline thing. What's that? Oh, mega slide. Is that like a knockoff slip and slide? I loved slip and slide as a child. Although it never quite delivered. I, like, I always felt like my slide experience was prematurely terminated by an uneven spot in the lawn. It was really hard to get a perfect surface to, to slide down in one foul swoop. Maybe they've, maybe they've added some kind of Teflon coating to them now and makes them more slippy. Check out this beach ball. Ooh, massive. Speaking of summer camp, we have uh, nice lunch boxes to take to summer camp. Now they have this trend of summer camps for adults. It's kind of like a retreat that you can go on. I've always kind of wanted to go on those. They look like fun. They'd be like on a lake somewhere and they have one of those giant um, rafty, bouncy things in the middle of the lake that you can jump on. I always thought that looked like fun. I'm over here in Kroger and I wanted to show you guys the burn, the already burned candles is still here. It's a shame, it smells nice. The only one left of that scent. Has anyone burned Caribbean Market? I'm always sort of intrigued by it. It's got a strong citrus taste. Cit citrus scent. Ew, Island Nectar is pretty. That one smells better than Caribbean Market. Yeah, that smells really good. Ooh, I like that. All right, so from Costco this week, I noticed they got these uh, Jane and Bleeker three-pack reversible tanks uh, in. And I've never purchased anything by this Jane and Bleeker brand, but I love wearing tanks like this. And I like that they're V-neck, kind of scoop V-neck. I hate, uh, what is it, crew neck. So I really like that, and I'm hoping these are good. I currently have a ton of the Felina ones, but they don't get those anymore. They only get the Felina, Felina camisoles. So we'll give these a try. They weren't very expensive and um, I just got black, white, and gray. I think those were the only colors they had. They also had sleep shorts too, but yeah, so I got that. And in terms of food from Costco, I got my spinach. I also got um, their organic Brussels sprouts. These are really good in the air fryer. And Kroger did not have radishes. They were completely out of radishes, probably because I've eaten them out of radish at home. Uh, but yeah, they were out of radishes, so I was glad I got these at Costco because they're really good in the air fryer. And I saw a recipe this week for a white bean and toasted Brussels sprout soup. It's like they toasted the Brussels sprouts and used them as croutons. So I'm totally gonna attempt to do something similar, only put my Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. I think that will be really good. Um, I got from Kroger, I got some of the Oppo squash. Love this stuff so much. It is superior to zucchini and I'm so grateful Kroger continues to get it in. And then I got this at uh, Costco actually. It is a golden honeydew melon. We'll see how that is, it looks good. And then from Kroger, I got two of the little individual watermelons. They were on sale. I got some parsnips again this week. Uh, this is one of my new Echo bags here that I got from iHerb. And I also got a head of cauliflower because Costco was out of the rice cauliflower, the frozen rice cauliflower. I really hope that is not the end of my rice cauliflower luxury days at Costco. They may be doing away with it completely. Fingers crossed they bring it back. I got two heads of Savoy. And then I also got some papaya. They looked like they would turn out to be delicious when they're ready. I got two yellow onions. I got a bag of the classic garden to satisfy my iceberg love. And I got a bag of whole carrots. They didn't have any of the whole carrots in bulk, you know, in the bulk bin. So I just got the bagged ones, two pounds. And I got some more kumquats. These are very delish. And in terms of non-dairy milk, I got, uh, I went with silk because currently this 96 ounce uh, silk almond milk is on Ibotta. Ibotta is the rebate app that I use. And I think I, you get like a dollar cash back on this one. So that's a pretty good deal. And then I also got the unsweetened chocolate blue diamond uh, from Almond Breeze as well. 
And you'll recall last week I got the um, bonza chickpea pasta. I love that stuff, but I didn't actually make it. I ended up having lentils and tofu throughout the week. And uh, I purchased this to go with it this week, hopefully. It is a marinara sauce from the Silver Plate. They make a, oat, a, a oatmeal that's like a really thick cut oatmeal. And this looked good. It, um, it has no salt, uh, no added salt and no added sugar. It's really hard to find in a jarred marinara sauce. And it was only like four bucks. Marinara sauce is really expensive. And so that, that was pretty inexpensive. It's just, it's just tomatoes, olive oil. I mean, it's like so easy to make, but I kind of like the convenience of it. Tomatoes, olive oil, and um, like what, basil and stuff, yeah. So look forward to that. I got another thing of the Stone Ground Mustard. The Simple Truth Organic brand is really good. And then I went ahead and stocked up on my lentil, my lentil pulses. <laughs> I got green split peas. This is only 99 cents. Uh, 13 servings, 99 cents. And I think in one serving is like, what, nine grams of protein? Yeah, nine grams of protein in one serving. So I got that and then I got lentils. This bag of lentils is like a dollar. And this is a really um, a nice source of iron as well. So I like to have lentils. I'm, I'm a huge fan of lentils. Actually, they're really good with marinara sauce. It's like a bolognese. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> hey, mumbo. Anyways, um, this was in the clearance bin. I mentioned last week how canned green beans are a guilty pleasure. And I think someone misunderstood me. It's not the green beans. It's just the can and like... You know, like I feel guilty because when things are easy, when you can buy things fresh, buying something in a can, it just seems like, way, you know, excess waste. Um, but something about canned green beans, it's a little different and I like the way they taste. It's supposed to fresh. Uh, and likewise, I kind of like um, canned fruits sometimes, but they're always laden in sugar. And these are in the clearance bin. They are the um, Simple Truth brand um, pears and they're just sweetened with um, pear juice, which is cool, instead of like high fructose corn syrup. So I got two cans of those. Uh, this is like really good in oatmeal, and um, I'm into making this uh, granola with oats and pumpkin seeds and almond flour. And so I think that would be good with on top of this, kind of like as a, as a baked crumble, if you will. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, that's everything that I got this week at Crow Hair and Costco. Yeah, it's nice and steamy out. <laughs> it's pretty warm. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog this week at the grocery haul. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.